bus lovers. Well, we use a couple of dairy goats around here to kind of manage the 30 acres that our homestead is on. And during the warmer months, I like to kind of rotate them around to some uh, areas I want to concentrate on. And then in the winter, we've got a proper shed that is a better shelter for them um, through the cold months. But when it's nice like this, I've got a little uh, plastic calf igloo thing that I keep in their temporary quarters. And I've found that cattle panel works really well. Well, my goats are escape artists and they eventually wear away at whatever fencing you use, even with these cattle panels. The web wire, they eventually kind of ride it down, and hop over, make it sag, you know, or even if there's a high point underneath. It's amazing how low they can crawl underneath something. Well, here are a couple of spaces we've been working on this summer. One right behind the garden, which is still so rocky and then uneven. I'm not sure that we could ever run a lawnmower over it, but we're at least clearing things out so that it's more manageable to get in there by hand with a weed eater or whatever. And then there's a spot kind of catty corner from the garden and the orchard that is just woolly. So yeah, right off of our orchard is a thicket of persimmon trees. So hello, makes a lot of sense. So now I'm moving them to a little bitty spot. This should just take them a couple of days to clean up. It's um, It was a brush pile that I was letting it, I was letting it compost. And um, anything that sits around very long in the full sun around here becomes a blackberry uh, thing. They can clean up the honeysuckle. They love that. It's so invasive and really not useful. There's a spot in between uh, that's kind of hollowed out because it was the brush pile so when they are done doing their thing we'll see how well we can clean that out in the middle and that way we can get around the blackberries we can get into the center of the blackberries it's uh, gonna be good the advantage to using this cattle panel is they can't get on it and kind of ride it down make it sag um, it's easy to move around unlike a traditional fence you know it's it kind of comes apart when you pull it off of the post and it wants to roll up and it's a big mess it gets tangled well this stuff you just move it panel by panel it doesn't need as many posts because it's self-supporting and um, even though right now each panel is like 20 bucks whew, um, it's super handy you just like everything else you just got to get a little bit here and there and build up what you need I'd like to keep it pretty snug in here. There's kind of a, an open space there where their little igloo is, uh, but I'd like to keep it tight because they're not gonna be in here that long. That way we can keep the main thing, the main thing, you know what I'm saying? Another good thing is it goes around curves pretty well. You don't have to have a post where you would normally put a corner. Saves time, saves posts. Uh, holds itself up. It's good. It's a pretty simple job this time. I don't even think I'm going to bother with a gate. They're not going to be in here that long. And uh, I'm just going to wire this fence together. The main thing to know though about keeping goats is no matter how good your fence is, if they're no longer interested in what's inside the fence, they're gonna get out. In part, that is how we are reclaiming this old homestead. Just a little piece at a time. Everything that's worth doing takes time. Little by little helps. <sighs> they are a mess. Life is what you make it. Let's get our hands dirty. If you'll click on this rectangle right here, it'll take you to our farm playlist. There's a lot of videos of Arabella escaping, going to see the neighbors, making me chase her, and uh, actually useful farmy stuff as well. Hit subscribe up there and 
comment, like, all that good stuff. Okay, you better click something because your time's up.